Hello guys, I'm going into this flying J and getting some nutrient dense snack ideas. And I will come back out, show you what I got. So hopefully I can help you to make a little bit better choices while you're on the road as well. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, let's start out with drinks first. So um, I have an energy drink here that is sugar free. The caffeine is balanced out by something called L-theanine, which makes you have, it makes the caffeine just last a little bit longer. So this brand is a really good option. And just to double check yourself, you can look on the back and look on those calories. And every time we're drinking beverages, we want to see that the calories are zero. Here are some examples of common drinks at truck stops that have quite a lot of calories with all or most of the calories coming from sugar. On drinks, you just want to flip them over and make sure it has under 10 calories per serving. These are both good options of protein shakes that have um, no added sugar. So um, this is a Fairlife protein. All that means is that they took out um, some of the lactose that people have some digestive issues with. So let's flip that over. So um, if we go down here to those added sugars, there's zero added sugars. So it's just that, it's just the milk and the milk protein. So this is a really good option. Um, be careful with protein shakes though, because um, there are a good amount of them that do add different you know, flavors and, and sugars and things like this. This one pretty prominently says zero sugar. So let's just double check it. And we look on the back and then zero grams of added sugar. Awesome. Um, so those are a good protein source um, that is great to pair with something more of an energy source. So like the carbohydrate over here, like with these, with the fresh fruit over here, um, this is mainly carb based. So it is gonna be, it's gonna raise your blood sugar, you're gonna have that energy, but they're gonna digest pretty quickly. So this would be a great option to pair with something like your protein shake, or we could get it paired with something like this. So um, like a cheese stick or like these little cheese rounds. These are a good option here. Um, and they're a pretty lean cheese. They're a little bit lower on the fat. So your more aged cheeses like cheddar, things like that, American, they do have a little bit more fat, so a little bit higher calorie. Um, let me show you another great snack idea that's kind of complete. So this is a type of protein bar that is pretty simple and it is a more of a complete meal because you've got your protein from your egg whites and your nuts in here. So we've got 12 grams of protein and then we have 23 grams of that carbohydrate for your energy. And again, there's no added sugars. This is really, I'm gonna put some pictures up of some other protein options to watch out for. Looking at these cliff bars, that is what we have. We've got 20 grams of added sugar and only nine grams of protein. So those added sugars are going to digest super, super quick. And that jolt and energy is probably going to get converted over into fat really easily. Same thing with these Nutri-Grain Bites and these Nature Valley Snack Mix. It has great marketing, looks awesome, but not the best ratio of things for you. Back on the protein side, nuts, okay? Nuts are a fantastic snack. Um, the thing with nuts is that they can be really easy to overeat on. I would recommend getting a smaller bag like this because if you look over here, there's three servings even in this small bag. So if you go ahead and eat the whole bag, you've got 490 calories. You've got about a meal right there. So if you get the bag, if you're okay with just stopping at half the bag, awesome. You've got like a 200 calorie, um, really healthy snack. But let's say you're gonna eat the whole thing. Just keep in mind that you may wanna get those little skinny nut pouches then. Um, another good option is sunflower seeds or pistachios that are still in the shell and they take a little bit longer to eat. Okay, another protein source, which would be great to pair with a carbohydrate source like your, like your fruit is beef jerky. So I picked out a, a brand that doesn't have kind of the not so great additives in them. 
So this one has no artificial sweeteners. It has none of the um, none of the sugars added. And this is the big one that I look for. So on beef jerky, it is really, really common for them to add a lot of preservatives and they're usually nitrate based. And those are really hard on your body over time. So look for something like that. Look for something in the ingredient label that looks pretty simple. And this one is. Um, okay, let's move on to this option. So pickles, it's kind of similar to some, like if you notice you're munching a lot, similar to like the sunflower seeds where it takes a little bit longer to eat them. Um, so, you know, you can, you know, snack on things for a while with not getting a ton of calories added. Pickles are a great option for having something crunchy to munch on, but actually not getting barely any calories. So this has 15 calories for the whole container. That's a great option. Something else that I haven't quite got to yet is the hummus and pretzels. So this is another really good balance of your protein coming from your hummus and then your carbohydrate coming from your pretzels. So this is um, a pretty good snack as well. And it's, it's all packaged, ready to go. So that's a nice one to grab. Another one is this Chobani um, smoothie. This is a good option if you're wanting something to drink, you know, you don't really have time to munch on something. And I'll show you why. So it has 10 grams of protein to kind of digest slower and make that 18 grams of carbohydrate for your energy last longer so that you don't have an energy crash. And then if we look at those added sugars, it does have some added sugars but it's only at seven grams. So anything about 10 grams or below is okay. If we can stay five grams or, or below, that's even better. Um, but this is not a bad option. This is actually a lot better option than just the typical Chobani yogurt. Last but not least, a little meal idea here. So we've got your veggies in this salad, we do have your protein with your eggs and your cheese. So this is a great option as well to maybe maybe make it a little bit more well-rounded. Throw, throw some of your fruit in here with your salad. Maybe have a protein shake on the side. You can make this a pretty decent meal. And we didn't even have to go to the Wendy's in the Flying J. We just got a meal this way by kind of pairing together snacks. Really, really make sure that you are looking at those nutrition labels, just flipping your food over and looking at the back um, and making sure that you are looking for those added sugars. And remember that's added sugars, not total sugars, and that you are getting a snack that does have some protein in there. I would recommend at least 10 grams of protein for a snack so that you have that protein that's gonna sustain your energy from your carb so that you don't have an energy crash about an hour down the road. Um, just keep in mind that whenever you're snacking, it is really easy to overdo it. So if you follow some of these options I've got here, it can help you to make a little bit better choices.